Hey Jill, I saw you at the hospital. Were you getting a little Timmy vaccinated? Oh hey Drake! No, I read somewhere that vaccines cause autism, so I don't really think it's a good idea to get him vaccinated. Jill, you know that it's a myth, right? No Drake, all the parents are talking about it. It's all over parenting blogs and websites. Jill, last year when I was watching TV, news broke out from a major news station claiming that baby strollers were implicated in the development of neuroblastoma, a rare and deadly childhood cancer. Every baby in Canada who has suffered from neuroblastoma has at one point in their life been pushed in a stroller. People were convinced that it wasn't a coincidence. Yeah, I remember that. Now that I think about it, the idea was preposterous, but it gained so much traction. Exactly. Then the media turned this into a large-scale issue. I remember a community of parents tried to protest against the continued use of strollers. Parents may not be scientists, but that doesn't matter because their gut feelings are enough. But it is very similar to myth that we have today, that vaccines are implicated in the development of autism. But is it true, Drake? Do vaccines actually cause autism? Throughout the years, major news outlets have reported the connection between vaccines and autism, and major celebrities and parents have spoken out against its continued use. The myth originated in a study published in 1998 by Dr. Wakefield. In the study, it was reported that parents of eight children associated their children's loss of acquired skills to the mumps, measles, and rubella, or MMR vaccine. The Lancet has since retracted the study because it was admitted that several elements in the study were incorrect and contrary to earlier findings. Invasive procedures were administered to participants and subjects were selectively chosen, both of which were deemed unethical by the scientific community. However, by the time the study was retracted, much damage has been done. The fear of vaccines has fueled non-vaccinations, which has resulted in measles outbreaks around the world. In 2014, 23 measles outbreaks were confirmed in the United States, including one large outbreak with 383 cases. And in China, more than 42,000 cases of measles were confirmed. The majority of these cases were due to non-vaccinations, which could have easily been prevented. Furthermore, the myth has resulted in unnecessary spending of millions of dollars in subsequent research on vaccines and autism. In reality, vaccines are necessary for the health of a society. Before the licensure of vaccines in 1963, measles was responsible for the annual deaths of 500 individuals and the infection of 500,000 others. Following the licensure of vaccines in 1963, the incidence of measles decreased by 95%. The vaccine for measles currently used is combined with the vaccines for mumps and rubella, collectively called the MMR vaccine. The MMR vaccine uses live attenuated viruses, which elicit an immune response, the production of antibodies, that work to eliminate the viruses and keep a record of their characteristics. The viruses used in the MMR vaccine are weakened, so they do not cause disease. In the future, when the measles, mumps, or mellow viruses are encountered, they are quickly eliminated by our body. However, as good as MMR vaccines can be, they can cause joint symptoms in adult women and allergic reactions such as rashes, which are very rare and usually mild and brief if observed. They will also cause fever, but only in individuals prone to infection. Two independent groups, the Institute of Medicine and the American Academy of Pediatrics, have reviewed evidence regarding the potential link between vaccines and autism and found no evidence regarding such a link. There is no convincing evidence that MMR vaccines cause autism. It is therefore recommended that parents continue vaccinating their child and consult their healthcare providers when doing so. After all, vaccines are important for a healthy child in society. Why take the chance to get vaccinated and protect your loved ones? Please refer to these resources if you have any questions.